Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to the Minecraft server, and I'm on with a few of the other guys. Uh, this is not my place. <laughs> I'll give you a hint of where I am. There is 1,145 entities or so around this area. <laughs> Hmm, who didn't clean up their mess? I wonder. We are at, uh, we're at the arena here. <laughs> and look at this, guys. I cannot comprehend. No comprehendo. It's a wooden pressure plate, and I can't open it. Can't open the door. There's one on the other side. Even if this door was being powered from below or some hidden source... It should change when I walk over these. Alright. Nope. Oh, now it pressed. There we go. Wait. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm a human being. I can step on pressure plates. What the heck? <laughs> That is so strange. This is this is 1.4.6. This is not the redstone update. Stupid game doesn't recognize me. All right, so we are at the arena. It's raining. People are on, so I can't sleep. The reason we are here. He's made a few changes here too, by the looks of it. I can't see a thing. Wow, there's a lot of mobs around. Uh, the reason we're here, uh, BWO the other day asked me to add some... Hello. Guys? Some pyrotechnics to this place. I've been disconnected, definitely. I'll be right back. Okay, I haven't been disconnected. People are talking to me. Is, is the game... Messed? up for any of you <laughs> I don't know what's going on can I hmm. what am I talking about the game doesn't see me as a real human being the mobs aren't moving pressure plates aren't working can I break blocks I can break blocks. What is going on? Alright, well anyway, <laughs> let's ignore it then. Can I open chests? I can open chests. Something very strange is happening to me. Alright. So... The plan. Uh, we're gonna try add some function to the arena today because Vita Blow has spent a lot of time on this and Arcus, and uh, it's very cool. It looks really good. We want to actually use it though. Oh, hello. Yes. No, you can't. Ah, oh. I thought you were special. He can see me, but he can't kill me. This is just... I've never seen anything like this before, guys. I'm... St I'm... St stunned. Alright. Uh, yeah, so we're going to try to add some pyrotechnics to this place. Uh, what I was thinking is if around the top here would be a good place. We want to try to do it without changing the look too much. He, B BWO said I could do whatever I wanted, but I don't want to wreck the look of his place too much with what I'm doing here. Uh, so, if we could maybe have eight firework dispensers, like one at each of these gates going around, that would be pretty cool. Like one here. One here. And then one over here. What do we got below? 
Oh, now I can't read books. Okay. Oh, man, what? <laughs> I'm just going to re-log. Okay. Yeah. You're back. And we are back. And I think that fixed the problem. Okay, so let's try this again. Uh, I think we're dealing with limited space, unfortunately. Ooh, grass. Yeah, it's only one thick. Darn. Okay, well, that's kind of a first problem. Um, that's not going to work. Uh, maybe... Can't put them here. Because we got that above. Um, they're probably just going to be low low height firing fireworks. Like level, level 1 fireworks. Uh, so that we can actually see them when they go off. Where else could we put them, though? If we went further up, then there's no chance that we'd be able to shoot them above the ring. And then we got the stadium seating to worry about, too. Maybe, how about we put them in between each of the gates instead of right above each of the gates? So if it would be somewhere around here. Let's just see. Oh, is there actually obsidian here too? <laughs> and more grass. Ooh. Careful. All right. Oh, you know what I think it is? I think he had a wall of obsidian circling the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. That might work, so that should, yeah, that should be grass in two. All right, we'll try put it there. Oh man, I, serious moment here, guys. I feel really bad for B Double O. <laughs> he, uh, he's really poor. Like, I just needed some stone. He doesn't even have stone. This poor guy. <laughs> I think this is one of his main storage rooms. I could be wrong, but he's got next to nothing here. Oh, he does have a cobble. I'm going to give him some cobble. Help the guy out. I mentioned the beef. We should have a charity drive for B00 and just kind of go around the server, collect some things, and, and give it to him. Help him out of his hard times. But yeah, I couldn't find any stone. I needed some, so I just had to cook some up here. Come on, come on. Even number. That'll do. Okay, so I figured out what we're going to do about the dispensers. I always right-click now because of Feed the Beast. Because if you right-click on there, you get the full full amount made. Here you got to shift-click, so it confuses me always. But we're going to do this. I think this is a good idea. Have a fence in front of the dispenser. And then we can. we're free to just cover that up. Oh, I did fill that in. I didn't think I did. Okay. So we'll fill this in. Do, do, do. Whoops. Like so. The nice thing about using a fence is it's a block and a half, right? So it's not like I even fall down if I walk over top this hole. So that's cool. And then we're just going to put a stone pressure plate over top to kind of hide it a little bit more too. So it's not... It's not retting his look too too badly here, and it still functions the same as if there was a half slab there. And the firework will fly up through that, no problem. So that's what I did. I got one over there. <laughs> There's so, so many dark spots around here. Um, one over here. What I've been doing uh, is just digging down. Whoop. Uh, four redstone torches going up, and then we're going to co connect them all together down below here. Going to have this running all around the arena. Haven't decided which direction I want the current to go yet. That's why there's no repeaters or how we're doing that. I might do a two way repeater or. Um, 
Actually, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do yet. And this is as far as I got. So, I'm going to finish working on this. Ooh, that's pretty good, I think. The only downside is I can't actually, uh, like, if there's a stone slab over top, I can't actually access the dispenser directly. I have to remove either this pressure, or no, I'd have to remove either the fence or this this here, but that's not too bad if we want to refill them. So, I will finish this up, and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, I got that done. Uh, the thing we got to decide now is how are we going to trigger the fireworks? How? How? Uh, I did set this up in a way. I want to look into this t today, too, hopefully, if we have time. Uh, it, I want to possibly... Uh, do some stuff with these gates where they'll, they'll open and close and and maybe even determine if someone won the match. I don't know how how tough that's going to be, but we'll look into that. But uh, if some if somehow I can determine if a match was won, I might rig it up to the firework dispensers uh, where they'll shoot it off at the end of the the match. Um, but just on its own as well, I would like to have a button and a lever set up here so that they could manually be controlled also. Uh, the button will be, you press it and it will shoot off the fireworks in a sequence do, 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 all the way around. And the lever is to turn on an automatic show so where it will be random and uh, they'll keep firing until they either run out or you turn the lever off. So one option is over here. This is sort of like the center of the arena, I would say. You got a nice view of the fireworks show if you do it there. Um, I could maybe just put it... Oh, I don't have a... I guess I could use a wood button, can I? <laughs> I love wood buttons. They're nice. Very convenient, too. Uh, we could maybe just put... I keep getting creepered here. Maybe put the button here and the lever on the other side. It's not too intrusive on his look, I don't think. And then let's just see if we can actually run a wire below. Oh, what is that? I think that's okay. I dropped a stair there. I should have brought a different pick. This one's too good for what we're doing today. Mm, that's going to be hard to get back. <laughs> uh, let's go back up there. Another option, though, I guess. I'll fix that, don't worry. Uh, we could maybe put our controls up there. Ooh. Oh, there's nothing built up here. Okay. <laughs> I thought there was. Ooh, scary. This is a big arena, like he's got rooms, he's got rooms over there, all the way around I think, and I don't know, lots of little details you don't see until you actually walk around. Uh, was there, is there no room? Nope. Okay, there isn't a room, so we're going to do it there for sure then. Let's, let's just check that out once more. Okay, the stair has to go back. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, I can put it... I can run the wire right underneath. Oh, I should be paying attention what block type. Okay, it was sandstone. Okay, so I can put a wire... Well, no, because it's going to be visible on this side, isn't it? Darn. <laughs> Unless we, I wonder, we could bust out this glass and put it, put it there, or maybe just put it here and have that lower. I'll I'll figure something out. One sec. Wait, you want to go, man? You want to go? Let's do it! Oh, baby. Okay, I, uh, I got uh, yeah 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 I got tripwires, and what we're gonna do now 
Wait, I never showed this. One sec. <laughs> I'll show you this first. So I got it all wired up so it does the loop. And I have about one, well, I think it's 0.8 seconds between each dispenser. I added a little bit of delay. Plus there's an initial two or three second delay. Just so everything doesn't happen before you have a chance to see it. So if I press that, it takes this long to go all the way around. I think that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, I got trip wires now. This was something suggested on my firework randomizer video that I could use trip wires instead of the fire setup to get a random pulse. Because if this dispenser is getting power from somewhere, if there's an update nearby, a redstone update, it will it will shoot out whatever's in it. So for some reason tripwires do that whenever the they get checked, like kind of like how wheat grows uh, every once in a while it'll randomly get checked and if that happens it grows one stage uh, if a tripwire gets randomly checked like that or randomly pulled it will update the redstone. I think I can put one here maybe one here I'm not sure if I have to put it directly on the dispenser they're not going to do anything at the moment because it's not powered Maybe let's just power it to see. Alright, so first, when we flip the lever... Oh, yeah, it just went. When we when we flip the lever, it's going to send out a ring of them first, but then it's going to randomly activate because it's going to stay powered until we unflip the lever. So we're kind of getting... Yeah, there we go. It's a pretty good speed. The more hooks we add, the faster it's going to work. And we could put one below. Oh, creeper. I hear creeper. I have to keep checking, man. I, I blew something up here already I had to fix. <laughs> it's a real pain. Because he's got no blocks. BWO has nothing, I tell you. Nothing. Spent forever trying to repair the damage. Maybe that's too much. Oh. Eh, that should be good. So I'm going to do that with all of them. Yeah. That's probably good. Good enough. So how many is that? That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six trip wires each one. We'll keep that consistent just so that they fire at the same speed on average. And we are about done with the fireworks then. So, we are going to do... Oh. <laughs> that was close. We got a nice night for this. We're going to do a little... Hey, a little test firework show here. Uh, I don't have much gunpowder though. I hate to see it. Only had enough for... Uh, eight rockets per dispenser. There's eight dispensers total around here. So we're going to get a fireworks show. We also have a sky show from the lightning. <laughs> the two come together perfectly. Except for the rain. I could do without the rain, to be honest. Uh, so let's give it a go here. Uh, when I flip this lever up, it's going to be much like when I press this button, so we're not going to bother trying that out. Save our rockets. And hopefully it turns out. And this will give us a good uh, judgment if we want to increase the speed or not. Here goes. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so that was the first ring. Now they're firing randomly. Oh. Double check that. <laughs> so cool. Let's head on down. Oh, I thought that was lightning. It's a beam. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. So, I, I went with low flyers because that's all the that gunpowder I had. But that looks pretty good from down here. You can actually see the fireworks from down here if they're down low to the ground like that. 
good rate, I would say. I like that. Very cool. <laughs> uh, so this is a pretty good setup because it's really... There's really not much to it, you know. It's just a line of redstone. And we have a lot of control with it. If I want to do something fancy with these gates, or with a winning condition or something, we can we can tap into it and make it shoot off fireworks or we can manually just send a ring of them going off if we want or um, if we give it a constant pulse we get this random factor which is pretty cool and we can control the speed by how many tripwires we add to it I think it's done so we have six tripwires we could easily put in eight if we want Oh. If you guys think uh, 8 would be better, let me know. This is 6, so it'll be just a little bit quicker. But yeah, that turned out pretty good. Cool stuff. Yeah, so the fireworks show turned out pretty good, I would say. I'm happy with that. We got that done. Uh, also, with this setup with the pressure plates, there's no chance of me... Like, if you walk over top of it, it's not going to activate the dispenser. The fence keeps you up, so you can't hit the pressure plate. Even if you were to get rid of that and try to walk on it. New can do. And it's not because the game doesn't see me. I'm here. I'm actually here. Um, we don't... I don't think we have time to get deep into anything else today. I did want to do something with the gates, but uh, we'll probably have to leave it. Let's just check it out, though. Uh... I think this is what he wanted to do, maybe, with them. Hmm. We could set some pistons up below that would retract the fence when we want the match to start. But that, would, uh, that wouldn't that would quite do it, though. People would s hit their head on the top here. This would have to come up half a block, this fenced area, for that to work. Which wouldn't look as good. But yeah, maybe pistons these to retract the gates to start the game. Have a countdown for that. Uh, I think we need to have like an armory back here, like a bunch of chests with uh, with item frames showing like leather armor, wooden swords, or iron armor, uh, in case people want to up the up the battle. Maybe potions. Have those in storage as well. And the other idea I had was to. Uh, have a bed set for everyone back here, and if they die, try to get them to respawn on a pressure plate so that uh, we would be able to detect detect if they lost the match. And then if there's only one guy left, it could tell, and then send out a winning condition and the fireworks would go off. So those are some possibilities. I don't know if that would work, though. Playing Cluster Chunk, there was issues where if you have a ladder or something within the bed spawning area or a pressure plate it would obstruct the bed you wouldn't actually spawn on it so I'd have to double check if that would even work but I think that's gonna do it for today guys thank you for watching if you have ideas let me know and I hope BWO likes it <laughs> we didn't change too much of his work I think I think that's acceptable alright See you guys.